My name is Carl Rainin, and this is my resurrection story. Uh, I was born in 1990 in Dixon. My parents were, I think, 16 and 17 at the time. That marriage lasted a little bit, a few weeks, and uh, it's probably hard to have a kid and still be in high school. Luckily, after, after that ended, a man stepped up to be my stepdad, and I was thankful to have him, still have him in my life to this day. You know, it's hard for somebody to choose a kid. I was thankful that he did. Uh, my dad, he moved off to Florida and started another life. And I lived with my mom and stepdad for about 10 years. It was a fairly decent childhood. We never went to church unless there was food involved or major holidays. So when I was 10, my mom and stepdad got divorced and I went to live with my dad in Florida. That was pretty rough three years before I came back and ended up going back to live with my mom and another stepdad. I was introduced to pornography at a young age, at a very young age. It took a long time for me to realize that looking at pornography was bad and that it was somebody's mom or sister or daughter, somebody that, you know, people cared about these people. And as a teenager, I liked to party, whether it was drinking or marijuana or cocaine, whatever, whatever other people around me were doing at the time, but I was lucky enough to, to have an opportunity to get a good job that wanted me to pass a drug test, and thankfully I, I did not partake in any of that since then. Needless to say, as a, as a child, I didn't have the most stable environment. I did have people that loved me, and I'm thankful for that, but didn't really hang out in church much, wasn't really stable, never really depended on nobody, and moving on and trying to set a better example now. Rachel and I had mutual friends and she had inquired about buying some speakers from me. So we met at a Taco Bell, but instead of buying the speakers, she got me. So hey, it worked out really good for me anyway. Well, I'm thankful that Rachel had a friend that was going to WCN and invited us. And when it was convenient, I could go, you know, if I wasn't fishing or hunting or doing something more interesting than going to church. Luckily, Rachel just kept at it and she kept going and I started to follow along and started going a little more and then when we had Logan, I decided that I wanted to be there and set a good example for him. How could I expect him to go if I wasn't going to be there? And you know, I always thought, well, Jesus knows where I'm at, I can connect with him on the water just like I can in church and I'd rather be at church now than I had to be on the water. I was struggling with feelings of being unworthy and you know, worried about coming to church and all the past sins and whatnot, but uh, after coming here, Vernon, Costello gave me the copy of the Ragamuffin Gospel and he said just read it. I said man I ain't a book reader but I did and I'm thankful that I did. It uh, tells you that the church is a hospital for sinners and it ain't just for the saints. It's it's hard to put into words what the church means to me. It's not just a single single word answer I don't believe. I'm thankful for for the church. I'm thankful for the people here, the opportunities to serve. I'm thankful to be able to look to maybe older people for guidance. There's younger people that can also, I mean, you can learn something from younger people or just delight. And it's nice to have a place where we can come together to worship and to talk things through and to find people you can lean on. But we're definitely thankful that uh, Carl and Jana Brazel invited us to church so many years ago and helped us along the way and gave us good advice and did what they could to help us. I served uh, as a Sunday school co-teacher for quite a while until we got washed out. And I'm thankful for that because those kids were asking questions that I never learned in church because I didn't go. And teaching them the stories on Sunday mornings was also helped, beneficial for me. There again, because I hadn't learned the stories. So I got to learn it with them. They would ask simple questions that, of course, Rachel knows the answer to, but I didn't know it because I hadn't been there. I'm so thankful that God has blessed us with two healthy, happy children. It's not, not always easy. Most of the time it's not easy, but I'm thankful for them and I'm proud of them. And, you know, I try to pray with them every night. I try to get them in church every time the doors are open. I want them to, to have the most stable environment. I want them to be happy. I want them to choose Jesus. I want them to be good examples. And that they, they make me better. Having Logan makes me better and having Maggie they definitely hold me accountable. 
If I don't feel like going to church, maybe I worked all night or whatever, they'd say, why are you still late in the bed? I guess if I can get up and go to work, I can get up and go to church. Hope that I continue to lead them in the, the right direction. I'm Carl. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me.